You're still watching Ways. Now, the theme for International Women's Day 2020 is I Am Generation Equality. Realizing women's rights, the emerging global um, consensus is that despite some progress, real change has been agonizingly slow for the majority of women and the girls in the world. Now, the campaign for this year highlights six key areas, championing women forging tech innovations, that's number one. Number two, applauding equality for women athletes. Three, forging inclusive workplace so women thrive. Four, supporting women to earn on their own terms. Five, empowering women through health, education, and six, increasing visibility for female creatives. Now, remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways Show Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or you send us SMS or WhatsApp to 081 8038 Now, remember, I told you before the break that we are having a new set of ladies, so I'm going to introduce them quickly. We have Uti, yeah. AK, Faith, and Lamy. Yeah, I like to say Uti, AK. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so quickly before we go into our conversation, I mean, each for equal, what came to your mind? Who is going first? Uti? Um, I think for me, it was important that everybody plays their part. Uh, this gender inequality has plagued women our entire lives. And it's not going to be something that magically happens. Every single person has to do, no matter how little. So you were talking earlier about the men who say, oh, I have one like you at home. Mm. You have the mother-in-law, daughter-in-law saga. I mean, there's just, in, in every single ramification, there is some way in which you can touch this issue. So everybody just needs to do their bit. So AK, I'll come to you with this question. Do you think women truly support each other? Well, for me, I would go personally. I've had like five, five female bosses. I only felt one not supporting me enough and it was not direct. So in terms of that, I probably really may not be able to relate because the women in my life, men in my life and then also the, my supervisors have been very supportive. I've had women that just call me up and very cooperative. So, for me, it's happening it, so, in my... No, does this mean that it, it, can, it has to do with your personality? Absolutely. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, 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 I think thinking. so. So I've had amazing female bosses. Um, I've had bosses You're an amazing person. Thank you. I like you didn't to say that so about too. me. I'm an amazing um, person. Oh, I'm sorry. About, you see, we met. I'm not finished <laughs> making this one. Oh, my God. You've already played it out on this table. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, but I, yeah, so I've been on the... the positive end of that spectrum. I've actually had bosses who have believed in me more than I've believed in myself, who have helped me to develop. So um, I hear those stories of nightmare bosses, and actually mine is the opposite. So my nightmare boss situation was actually on the male side wow. rather than the female side. But I, 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 f I feel like the vibe that says women need to support women, I think that narrative is now more mainstream. Mm -hmm. Now, whether in reality that's actually playing out is a different story. Yeah. I feel like we say we're all lifting each other up and we're all, but in our hearts, I don't think we're quite there yet. Yeah. Because, you know, I still feel, I mean, I'll even speak for myself, you know, I like to think that, yes, I'm amazing. But, you know, every once in a while, I have to catch myself because some girl walks past and I'm like, <laughs> what's yeah, going that's on? Yeah, being honest. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So I have to catch myself and say, you know what, she's doing her and it's fine. fine. So I, we still have a long way to go, even as women ourselves. Yeah. Okay, so Faith. You are, you and Tanzi, you're the single ladies in our, in our midst. So you have your own story about single women and how, you know, you're being treated, you know. Yeah, so mine is, um, as a woman, especially in Lagos, it's so hard going out by yourself. Um, mm. If you want to go clubbing, it's a problem. I had a pro. Mm, can I say the name? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, it's in VI. And <laughs> <laughs> almost everyone goes there. And um, so we went clubbing for a friend's birthday, booked a table, everything. Um, and then they didn't want to let us in. Whoa. Yeah. Happens Whoa. all the time. Yeah. It happens all the time. So, well, I'm, I'm so sorry, you would continue your story, but it has nothing to do with whether, whether, whether you're married or single. Really? It's you, a gender it's thing. A gender it's a gender, gender thing. Okay. So please proceed. Yeah, so like, they're like, oh, I don't know like, this word. Uh, <laughs> Prostitutes? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think they're trying to... I really don't know why, but apparently they don't want oh, to let well, some... So what happens is they try to not have 
female sex workers coming. To yes, but, I mean, but you know look my at problem me with that. And look at what a no. So it doesn't thing. Thing. matter. My problem is that they they can identify those females. Well, you are can. But when they, guess it's quite when they come, you are accepted by money to pay for a table. I don't get. It. Yeah. So there's exactly. a disconnect. Yeah, there's a disconnect between your accounting department and your bouncers. <laughs> exactly. The fact is, they yes. need to keep. So they so eventually what and happened. The bouncers are not on the same wavelength. Like some bouncers will let you in and some will not. So there's really no like method. It, it, it kind of has also they... to do with, with how you're dressed. So I used to experience this all the time when I first came back to this country and I thought to myself, what's going on? Like you're coming in and the minute you're in like a tight dress or you're dressed like a girl going out on a night out and they're like, no, you can't come in. So if you're a group of girls, there's a question. You can be 20 girls and there'll be one guy. And, and, like, and oh, yeah. they, I'm sorry, but that's my problem. That's my problem. Any, they don't talk to them. They just baba. No, so do you know my problem is, Uti, why, why I think it is not about the dressing? Because it is still the same woman with the same dress, wearing exactly, she has not taken one thing off, and because she's with a guy. No, so, for so here's me, what I say with the dressing. It's beyond the dress. So when you're not, alone, so the thing is, this is how I fixed it. I changed my dress code. When I was going clubbing, it was jeans. Uh, it was in the era when polo shirts were raining, so it was jeans, polo shirts, and heels. Nobody ever asked me, don't come in, don't come in. It worked a treat. But guess so what? So when you wear skimpy things, they yes, automatically, they automatically assume. So well, 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 you yeah. have never experienced this. Whoa, okay. Yes, you you go 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 I have never gone Okay. Go. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So, so, but you are, um, you're a legal personality. Ua, before you go on to that, I was going to take you on um, so a few minutes into yeah. the segment, you were talking about um, advertisements. I totally disagree with you. On what grounds, Biko? Saying that um, most of the time it's women reflecting. I think that regardless of how we put it, there has to be rules in the family. It's a bit absurd to see a man cooking on TV now. Also, oh, please. Or washing. Please, can please, I me? Let me know. Totally please, disagree. let me. Let, let her land. land. Let her land. Yeah. Listen, I think that it's a bit absurd, but men, can, you can balance it by helping. Just respect me. I'm doing it. Just respect me. But to say that a... I'm, I'm sorry. I think Please, can I raise my hands here? Because I really <laughs> want to explain. <laughs> and let me come in here. One of the most expensive chefs we have in this country, yeah. in the world, are men. So what are you Everywhere telling me? What are world. you telling me? They go at home. home. They use, Excuse they, me. They no, use, no, I'm not. Not. They use sorry. the I can't agree they with you. They use the pork at all. all. But the, the reality is, they have no, to so You are advertising. Okay, one house, please. Okay, so? You are advertising that this seasoning is great. You, that is what the advertisement says, that the seasoning is great. Do are men chefs? Yes. Do men cook? Yes. Can men cook at home? Yes. So why is it that it's a stereotype, I have to be a woman doing the advert? And let me tell you, let me give you a statistics, okay? Women spend up to five more hours on unpaid domestic work than men each day. And you know what this does? It also affects their careers. Because when my mother-in-law is sick, when my mother is sick, when my child is Pay sick, I would be at home. Because why? Because Lamy thinks that there's a role where I have to be the one what doing all the domestic work okay. and we have to change so this. this is actually no. a very very strong point of conversation because you know what when i was writing the article i just i just looked at it because you're fighting equality I, nobody is spotting it is it is just amazing go and check round. i would like to ask yeah. you a question okay. so if it is not okay for a man to cook I would like us to then agree that we should kick every single man that is doing hair. Who did your hair? A man, man or woman? Exactly. <laughs> I was so we've just I was out of call. You guys Lami has single handedly no, taken no, no, me back to understand. the dark ages. Maybe can we talk about that? Thing? Listen, maybe it didn't come out the right way. What okay, I'm saying maybe. is you have to take it or leave it. In a family, there have to be rules. Gender roles. Well, no, yes. Well, no, let, let, let me let me tell you I something. Still disagree, there. But I'm, I am blessed. I am blessed. But you can choose to so, help. Hold on. I am so blessed with one of the most. For a man to tell me, Lamy Day, you are paying my daughter, I'm sorry, the child's school fees. I think it is wrong. <laughs> Women are not natural. Listen, but what do you earn more than the man? Mm -hmm. Let me explain. You ask me nicely. Let me calm down. We are having so, a conversation okay, here. Okay, okay, calm down. All right. So first of all, I have the most amazing husband ever. Okay. Do you understand? I think what you should have said, okay. right, is as the opportunity presents itself, who takes on a role? I have seen cases where a man loses his job. You don't expect your wife that is still earning and you have children to take to school to leave everything. Hold on, let's finish. 
to leave everything she's doing and still come and clean the house, still go to work, carry the money and pay children's school fees. No. At that point where you are out of a job, for instance, and you flip the rules. In my home, nobody tells anybody what to do. If I am not, if I am not up to it, Oga takes on the kitchen Ooh, uh, and he cooks a very. Uh, in uh, fact, however Ooh, uh, the meal. Listen, Ooh, uh, let me tell you something. He tells me all the time. Well, I love your cooking, okay, and that's Ooh, uh, why I always say you should cook for me. But my point is, don't ever say that. No, it is wrong. No, we should we should no, have a mix. I, I me, agree. We should with have you. a mix I in this advertisement. Let's go, let's move on from this. Let's move on. We can't. We can't finish this. We can't. We can't finish it. Um, back to each for equal. <laughs> On the six point agenda, <laughs> Uti, you are going to talk about women, um, emotions versus logic, mm. right? You know, so let's let's move on from this because we can't finish this one. We, we can't, can't exhaust it. We can't exhaust it. I also feel like. Um, <laughs> I, feel like I agree. I, I, I feel like uh, I, I'm coming in after so much emotion has been displayed <laughs> to say that women are logical. <laughs> I am logical. <laughs> I am logical. Well, I was giving logical so, points. So, so, okay. so, no, I really wanted to just speak to, um, particularly in the workplace, I think that, as you have just seen, women are naturally emotional creatures from the point that we are, and, and when you say emotion, I think it's actually the wrong word, unless passion is an emotion, and I stand to be corrected. We are very passionate creatures, right? And as you can see, it comes out very effervescently. You can't really hold a woman down when she has a point to make. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is often misjudged as a woman being emotional. So when a guy has this sort of outburst, particularly in the workplace, you know, it's fine. He's good. You know, mm -hmm. he just wants to get the work done. But the woman, the minute the woman goes hard at she's it, too. oh, she's emotional. Exactly. Uh, maybe it's her time of the month. Maybe mm. she didn't get enough sleep. You know, there's maybe she didn't get enough sex. <laughs> I didn't that. say that. No, <laughs> guess what? They've said single bosses. They try to organize. Oh yeah. Yeah, because no, right. of course, sex is a good relief. Somebody's asking a question. <laughs> How okay. can you build the woman's belief in herself? Mm. Because I think most of this time where we're going at each other is insecurity. Sure. It's coming from in a, a deep place of insecurity. That listen. We are all, how many of us are, are on this team? We're all 10 different women with different kinds of agenda. Like for the life of me, I could care less. My point is that is everybody growing. But I do not see this replicating in, every time there's a woman group, woman group, they always say, ah, oh, don't worry, I'll soon scatter. Something will mm. scatter them. Why? Because of those insecurities. I personally believe that, and that is what has driven me over the years. I have a vision, I have a goal. So regardless of where Uti is, regardless of where Lami is at any point in time, it, it does not tally with where I'm going. If it tallies with where I'm going, I'll go and ask them, please, how are you doing it? If it does not tally with where I'm, where I'm going, I'm not seeing it. Because I believe that at every point in time, there's a time, you know, there's a time for everybody to evolve and there's a time for, for the showing forth of everybody. So if you understand that and you're secure in yourself and you believe in yourself, you will not see another woman as a threat to your success. You know, so how do we start to get women to believe in themselves? We need At, to start, okay. sorry, no we problem. need to start, it, I feel like it starts from how you were brought up. So everyone here is a woman, probably, okay, I don't have a child, but I, no. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your daughter as well, like, so I know there's a Beyonce song where she put Chimamanda's um, poem, yeah, where she was saying that we raise women to fight against each other. So we should now raise new generation of women to support each other and you know um, be there for each other because you know there's like men's have men have cabals where they um, immediately an opportunity comes Boys up club. It's like yeah my guy can do this my you know so women we need to start doing that as well and stop you know oh no she's better than me she's more pretty I don't yeah, want her exactly. to exceed exactly. more than I am all of that needs to stop <sighs> let's push each other up so the imposter syndrome is a real thing for women I think that uh, no matter how much success a woman has you are constantly, constantly thinking yeah. somebody's going to discover that I'm a fake. Hmm. And in your mind, you have to almost wake yourself up and say, you know what, I got here through grit and hard work. Mm -hmm. A man from day one is like, I'm just, you know, I've done this, he can tell the stories, he can. But you, every time you're telling the stories, there's almost a hint of self-doubt in the back of your mind somewhere that I did this. And you keep doing it every day, but you still keep questioning yourself Every single, single day. day. Awesome. It's a, it's a huge so where, challenge where do we put women that they have issues with, um, um, what's it called? Not understanding their different strengths. Because somebody's asking that the strengths 
um, for women or is saying, commenting that the strengths for women are different. Women should focus, should focus on areas of their strength, use it to bridge the gap and enhance humanity rather than compete or contest with men in their areas of strength. Yeah. <laughs> so there was something, there was something I put up you know, during, um, during, I think, this week. And I was like, don't wear yourself out trying to compete with a man. And the same thing I say most of the time is, I am enough. And I think that that's where the self-confidence is. I am enough. What I have done is enough. Because let me tell you, sometimes at work, we give 150, if not 200%. Why? Because we're always running against a man. But when you know that you are enough, the work that you have done is good enough, then you would embrace yourself. But when you keep to a man is a man. Hmm. His genital parts, well, this, this. It should be a man. <laughs> it's a man. You are a woman. There's a, I say, I don't, I'm not a um, believer of those who say king. I am a queen, and a queen has power. More powers than my, a king. My power you is know, complete. See, let me tell you something. And I don't have to be All a these king people fighting equality. Me, I'm not inside that mix. -o. Because the truth is that I am a woman. For the life of me, I have learned like this. I want to be carrying my hand sometimes. Because, I'm no. I'm passionate enough. I, I see, I always, I always say that women... If you understand your strength, your strength is not in some of the things that we try to fight and push for as uh, equality. Now, Faith was saying something that, and it happens to me all Ooh, the time. Uh, Myself and my husband would drive somewhere. Ooh, uh, Hello, God, like I'm not there. Yeah. Even sometimes, if I'm the one even driving self, they will still greet him at the other corner no, and as if I'm not existing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I will pay the money. They will say, thank you, sir. sir yes, <laughs> you know, we all see all of those. Time. You know what I have decided? Those things don't bother me. We know that when it comes to the inner caucus of the inner house, when we are taking decisions, we know that both you decisions, were. you know, okay. there is equity in those decision making. Ooh, and That's now, what is Are you yeah. not contradicting yourself? No, no, we are no, not. No, no, no. no. I'm I not. knew you were going to come Excuse for that. Me. Okay. But it's fine. <laughs> what I was just plainly saying is that I don't, it doesn't matter if it reflects that the woman is doing the washing or the cooking. But I say, have my strengths. That's why I'm just trying to say that whether you like it or not, that is a naked truth. There has to be rules in the home. Why do we always have to fight this, that? I don't think it's necessary. A woman has their role in the society, whether you like it or not. And a man has theirs. Okay, if so what is the woman's means, role in the society? Respect. What's back. the woman's role in the society and what's the man's role in the society? I don't know. Ah, you're not... Uh, you're, you, so can, we, can, can we... So because you, you know, see, you're not well, defining it. And that's listen, where we have a problem. Listen. So we need, to, we need to move on. You know what? <laughs> We need to move on. Okay. So what do we think that is happening to women in tech spaces, for instance? Is it because there's a lot, because I was talking to the guys that came on the show yesterday about apps. There's a lot of funding, especially globally, for women. There's a lot of global funds for women and girl child. So everybody's jumping on this bad wagon of women and girl child and tech as well. So do you think that um, we truly have a, a place, I mean, a stake at the, the, tech, the tech level for women in businesses? Do you think so? Well, I, I think that in the tech space is really difficult, and I would explain not because you don't have women that are developers, but because the men are not paying attention to them. And I, I, I don't have the figures now, but there is even in research, even in Silicon Valley, so I'm not even talking about in Nigeria. So you're going to make a presentation. Sometimes they have to employ you that, let's say you're a guy, so that you can give the presentation so they can get the phone. Yeah. And I've heard um, that this tech company, a fintech company, I really can't recall now, and she was on radio, and she says she developed the app, but when they have to go for meetings, once she's talking, they just can't relate her to the tech. So she had to hire someone that does not know the tech to teach him, and he does the presentation. So it is still there. That barrier is still there. But I think with creating awareness and then pushing ourselves forward, maybe we can. So how now, how do women begin to support each other? Because that one is very key for me. How do we stop fighting each other <laughs> or attacking each other? And what do you think are the things that we can start to do as women to promote each other? I think uh, women need to believe that there's enough space for everyone because I think everyone wants to be the first black woman who sat down on this table and doesn't want other people to sit down with her. So there's enough space like Nigeria has a big market, we can all succeed and excel. So awesome. once you tell yourself that there's enough for me to eat and share with other people as well, I think that's a step forward. Awesome, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think women naturally are just competitive in nature. So I think it's innate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. Even I have three daughters and my first two are 
they have, you know, they're within the same age group, and I see this play out, and mm. I have to explain to them. But you're different, you're unique. Yes. It even plays out from just, you know, just normal things and all that. So I think it's in it, and I think we need to work from it from the inside. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I'd like to say one thing. I am enough. Like, I can't preach that enough. <laughs> Once you know that you are enough, there is nothing. And I am my whole own hype woman. I tell myself, I carry my weather around. Like if you're bringing rain, I'll bring out my son. <laughs> I am enough. Mm. And when you know that you're enough, when you walk into a room with 100 women, you would know that because you're enough, she's enough, everybody's enough, you will be collaborating. It starts with you. So even when you're saying, how are women supposed women? And then you go somewhere and you're eyeing somebody, you are the danger there. So when you know that you're enough, you carry your weather with you. You would not be scared of other people. You awesome. would you would breathe because you're unique. There's awesome. no two I can in this world. Awesome. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> um, self awareness is everything for me. Yeah. I think it's important that we just catch ourselves in those moments because they will come, and it's not a gender thing. At every point in time, you see something, and your mind sort of goes, oh. and but you have to sort of stand back and say, look, this is not a threat. Mm. It's not a fight or flight situation. The minute that we can and. I really want to say that women achieve amazing things. Yeah. Even in the midst of everything that we've exactly. talked about, all the gender parity issues, women achieve amazing things. So imagine if we just came together. together. If women running the world would not be a song, mm -hmm. it would be reality. Yeah. So we like just it. need to, each and every single woman, to really be self-aware. Nobody's coming to threaten you. Nobody's trying to take your shine. It just starts with you. If, you know, because we can say so many different strategies and whatever, all it just takes is for every woman to be the change we want to see and will be done. And another thing I think is women should participate more in politics. Mm. We can start from there. Because all what we're saying will end here if there's nothing in the political world to bring it to bear. Yeah, because we have so to start I pushing think, those policies. Yeah, it's all yeah. these policies to become laws. I, I agree with I know why. Because when these politicians, when they want to go and probably do rally, they can't meet women will be the women leader. Yeah. The male leader under the sun. Exactly. We had someone in what state because she went out. I forgot. Can you her. remember? Was, it was, it was our killed? middle bed. No, the one that they stoned and they called her a prostitute. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it was women. See, these people go to women leaders when they want to do election. They say, tell your women to vote for me. So imagine that we all does she do? The women leader, what does she do? She gets them and Kara and tell them to start shaking their bum. For men, under the That's what we're saying that they should do it's that sad, for women. But can um, uh, let me play devil's advocate, please, please. Um, the political scene in this country, in particular, is quite dangerous, if I can use that term, for women, for anybody, for anybody, for anybody. For anybody. For anybody. So because you know, you to get into politics, I think people get it wrong because they always try to start from the top. You have, you have to, to go, go in at the, the grassroots. grassroots. Yeah. And at the grassroots level, they will eat all five of us and spit us out. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? You want, do you mm. want to go and try being a counsellor? Mm. <laughs> I've worked with a politician, so I know. So that's what I'm saying. So it's, My it's entire different. life has so been So I don't even think that um, fighting in the political space, I don't think will have as much impact. So if I come back to Forbes 50 as powerful women that came out a few days ago, mm. you can achieve great things. Fine. And okay. move real life levers without being in politics. Yeah. No, I, I agree with him when I said participation in politics will go a long way. I didn't yeah. say that's it will actually go far because these mm -hmm. are the people that create the policies. Mm -hmm. All right, so someone is saying that um, I think women are stereotyped by their looks. Well, that Total one, I've had that yeah. one no, several no, no, times. There's no <laughs> First of all, when you're yellow and you are this thing, <laughs> they automatically look at it. But I just want to say that um, it, the possibility of women truly lifting each other up is actually there. That possibility is there. It is whether, it is whether it's the willpower now that we want to now start to hold each other's hands. I mean, it starts with us, like we rightly said. Let's be the change we want to see. Let's ensure that... Even when those things are coming, you know, you quickly reprogram your mind. Because it will come. Those will. envies you're, will you're, come. You're human. You're human. You know, we, those envies will come and all of that. But you know what? Tell yourself, no. I love what you said. I'm enough. You know, tell you. I always say to people, I love the mirror. I look at myself every day and I mm. tell myself what I want to hear. You don't have to wait for someone to validate you as, mm -hmm. a, as a woman. And for men that are out there, I mean, it, it's important that even when the security man is not saying hello to your wife and he's saying hello to you. It's Try as much it's as possible to 
correct him. Yeah. See, let me tell you something. This is a, 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 a silent programming that has happened. I don't even want to talk about single single mothers here. They go through a lot of hell, you know. So let, it is a, it's a silent programming that's happened over the years. And the way we can solve this problem is to deprogram it. But it's not going to come with a fight. I don't believe anybody needs to take a placard and say, oh, it's for equal. No. It is in the silent things, in the little things, you know. As little as opening the door or waiting behind for the woman to go through. Those little, little things would actually now evolve into something great. So let us, you know, truly, truly practice this each for equal that we have, you have said. So on that note, hmm. in case you missed today's quote, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's take the quote again about um, Maya Angelou. Each time a woman stands up for herself without knowing it, possibly without um, claiming it, she's standing up for all oh, women. And that's so true. I agree. You know, let's stand up for each, for, other. For each other. And let's not be the one to be videoing a girl that is chasing yeah. our husband. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. All right, so that's another topic for another. Don't open that kind of form. <laughs> we can't right, do so it without the men. No. So, yeah, please. So you can watch a uh, the broadcast um, on Mondays, Sundays, and the, um, Saturdays. Today's repeat will be tomorrow. That's Monday at 3 p.m. Now, it's been really, really an insightful conversation, ladies. Yes. <laughs> so remember to keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms always as we continue to hear what you are saying. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And happy International Women's Day to all yes. the lovely women out there. Yay. We love you. And goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>